Biafran agitation for a breakup is a deceit and a lie from the pit of hell. Loretta Onoche says. Um, what makes you feel that it is a deceit? First of all, if I may ask, when were you born? For you to say something is deceitful, it means that that thing was just forged. So are you trying to say that Odumebu Ojuku forged the declaration of Biafra Republic? And if it was forged, why then was there a war for that reason? Why then did the the Igbos waste their lives to fight for the Republic? I don't know the way some people reason. Do you think that human beings are senseless? Do you think they are senseless and they don't know what they are doing? I don't know the way some of our politicians or so of I don't know the way some of our leaders takes human beings to be. Do you think human beings are cowards? Do you think they are illiterate? They don't know what they are doing? So Odumibu Ojuku wasted all of his time, his money, to go to the war. Look at the mass of people he took to the war. Look at the, 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 the experiences. So all those things, they are just jokes. I think you were not born then. You were not born. Because if only you were born, then you will know what Biafran war was. And that is why our leaders are afraid. They are afraid that we should not experience another Pierre from war. And you are saying it's a deceit and a, and a lie from the pit of hell. <laughs> if it's a lie, why then is your president doing all that he could to make sure that nothing of such exists in the Southeast? Why? Why then? Loretta Onoche, you are only acting based on what your paymaster have just told you. I will advise that you always source your information from the right from the right channel because you are sourcing it wrongly. Wrongly and it's not helping you. And that is why you keep falling on the wrong side. There are a lot of people who were who fought the Biafran War. Even your president fought the Biafran War. And he knows what it is to fight the war. He tested it. And he doesn't even want it to repeat itself. Because he knows what the outcome is going to be. All right, let's hear what she has got to say. Recently, there have been calls from different quarters demanding for the breakup of Nigeria. This has become even more pronounced following the emergency of agitation for the creation of Odudua Republic. It can be recalled that in the southeast and parts of south-south, the federal government has been struggling to contain the activity of Biafran agitators under the umbrella of indigenous people of Biafra IPOP. This has equally led to violence, clashes between the group and government security agencies, resulting to loss of lives. With Odudua Republic agitators joining the call for the breakup of this country, one may begin to think that Nigeria could be divided.
in the coming months or years. However, this agitation may just be another illusion. This it as the country will be almost impossible to break up. According to Loretta Onoche, it can be recalled that the federal government has oftentimes maintained that the unity of Nigeria as one indivisible nation is not negotiable. As such, the agitation for the breakup of Nigeria must just be a deceit for these three reasons. One, global politics. It is no doubt that politics extends beyond the borders of a country. This politics, which is often played in terms of alignment, could see the world superpowers align with the Nigerian government to ensure that Nigeria remains as one. This can also be influenced by the fact that the Britain, which colonized Nigeria, has always stood with the federal government on the idea of one indivisible Nigeria, with no support from the top nations in the UN Security Council. It becomes almost impossible for a new country to emerge. Two, the federal government resolved to maintain the unity of Nigeria. It is important to note that the federal government is not and may not be willing to conduct a referendum to know if the country should break up or remain as one. Again, the politics leaders from the various regions have equally carried into the idea of one Nigeria, leaving almost no one to present to subject formally for deliberation, although this has little or no influence on the unity of the country, as the federal government is determined to keep the country as one at all costs. 3. The absence of war. Going to war is the last thing every normal person should be praying for. Although it has been used as the ground to break up some countries in the past, for instance, Sudan and USSR, there is no war in Nigeria and no one is praying for it. Considering all this, it can be concluded that the ongoing agitation from different corners is not enough to see the country breaking up to allow not enough to see the country in a divided way, to allow for the independence of the various regions. Therefore, this agitation may just be another illusion. Thank you for listening to this news. That is your opinion. And that is what you think. So what you think is what you feel. I can see that you are so much believing in what you were told. That's what I see. But if I were you, I will humble myself and make a proper findings. A proper findings because I've seen that you have you have been wrongly fed. Because if you have not been wrongly fed, you will not be saying what you are saying. You are not attacking those who are destroying the country, but you are only going for those who are doing all that they could to save the country. Well, I'm not surprised. It's a part of you anyway. All right, my people, based on what Lloyd or not, what do you think? Don't forget to leave your own comment below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.